What's up guys, this is your boy Russian with another Raid Shadow Legends video and Plary has announced that they are doing some more rebalancing in a couple of legendaries. Um, so let's take a look in uh, who they're going to rebalance. So they have War Chief, and we're definitely not talking about this guy today. And we have one of the champions that I have the most love for, even if every single YouTuber around, they actually pretty much put him as the worst legendary ever. In the most, and I understand some of the reasons, but I still fully disagree. And I'll explain to you guys why. Uh, some of the changes gonna be that his A2 now will remove all buffs from the enemy before placing a freeze the buff. Now, this used to be only removing two uh, of the buffs, maximum. Right now, he's gonna be reducing all of them. The A3 transform into an AoE attack, placing decreased defense debuff in, on all enemies for greater damage potential. The thing with him is, uh, I know I have a soft, a soft spot in my heart for him because he was the first legendary champion I pulled from a shard right before I pulled, I pulled George. And because of that, you know, I, I really like this champion. Um, he brought me from silver all the way to five gold arena. And yeah, I, I'll be honest, I can't really complain about him. He's been on my arena team, what is not actually an arena team so in that sense, for a very long time. Uh, I'll be honest, I will be building an actual arena team within the next month, but as of right now, I just use pretty much what I have. And he's one of the guys who pretty much helped me get to where I got. Uh, I got to Platinum Arena before. Every now and then, I will jump up and come back down. But, yeah, he done that for me in some really hard matches, okay? So let's take a look in some of them. Let's get in the arena and let's go do some matches. All right, so let's take a team, all right? Let's look at something that is kind of probably annoying. All right, let's take this. We have Georgia. It's about the same team power as my team. I'm at 241, they're at 239. All right, so we start First row is freeze everybody and take all the debuffs. In this case, they didn't have already because he was frozen. Uh, he was stunned. So coming here, two hits. Now I change his gear and I'm gonna actually show you guys the gear I'm using. I used to have him to make more damage and I changed him to pretty much have just accuracy and speed. So he is squishy, but he can make a lot of that. Uh, he can hold those guys in place for the most part. So George is gone. Because George is a great champion, but he's squishy as squish can be. Half rack. Get ready. And boom! Takes those guys out of here. So pretty much uh, teams are about my team power. Not that hard. I may lose a couple of champions every here and there. But not such a big deal. All right, so let's go against this team, 310. Not that much higher, but still, you have a lot of debuffs and a lot of buffs going for them. All right, so boom, takes most of the buffs out. Ninja is still holding up. Try to stun those guys. Everybody's stunned. I could actually right now take those buffs and I'll probably do it ninja. Removed everybody's. Boom. One is dead. And everybody's dead. Next team, we're gonna go against two mythical champions, and this is gonna look ugly. Let's take a look, and maybe what's gonna happen is they're gonna kill Gorgo. He, they didn't, 
Big mistake. All right, everybody frozen. Let's take some of those guys out quick. Boom. You're down. Well, not yet, but it will be very soon. AOE. All right, revives. That's okay. Not a big deal because you guys know what is coming very soon. Boom. There you go. All right, so just show you guys, this team is not an actual team, okay, what I'm running because I have never built uh, an actual arena team. I just put the champions that I feel are better suited with each other. Uh, they're not, not spin, speed tuned or anything. The only thing I did was try to make sure Gargo was fast. But besides for that, I use those champions in other areas of the game. I actually am going to be working next month to build a better arena team. Yeah, so as you guys see, he's not really bad. Uh, again, not the best champion in the game, but in the most with the rebalancing, I feel he's gonna be a thousand times better in the most because he's getting AOEs that he didn't have and he's gonna be able to strip all the buffs instead of just two. So let's take a look at his build right now. So I did a, a little bit of a change. Uh, I got some pinpoint on him, but his build's not that strong. Uh, everything he was doing in the arena, if I actually... I need to take time to get better equipment for him. But, like, different than a lot of other YouTubers that have 80,000 80, HP and stuff like this, I'm running right now with barely 40. Uh, attack is 3,500, give or take. Defense, under 2,000. Speed... Speed is a little bit better. I believe that's uh, 233. 263 speed, 44% crit rate. So I used to have him with high crit rate and high crit damage, which is not a bad build for him. But I realized the most because guys like Arman for ex Armand, for example, it became a lot better to make him faster and with a higher accuracy. Even my accuracy right now is only 333. It is high, but it's not the highest. I feel with the rebalancing, this will be great for him. Uh, resistant kind of low, but as long as he's fast enough. And again, as you guys see, a lot of people will have uh, their arena champions at 300 plus speed. This guy is at 263, okay? Uh, but if he gets, if I'm able to put more speed on him, uh, more accuracy, Pretty much nobody gonna move in the arena in the most with having Armand uh, going with him because if whatever whatever uh, buff he doesn't strip as of right now whatever buff he doesn't strip Armand can take it away I usually try to hold on to use this ability uh, Armand's A3 until I full need because sometimes you strip buffs another champion put buffs back so Armand's there for that and then I have half rack and Georgia to pretty much destroy everybody who is left. So nothing really crazy on his build, something that anybody can achieve. You don't have to have a Kraken account or a well account. Uh, yes, fully free to play. It may take a while, but again, I'm level 90. Uh, as you guys know, I am not really spending. His masters, for example, I don't even have him fully mastered, right? We look at books. I don't have all his books, okay? I'm still missing books. So the only thing is, as soon as I got this cooldown down, I was fine, okay? Now with the new changes, I probably gonna want this one as well uh, lowered. But yeah, uh, he's been pretty solid for a couple of years for me. I don't think he's a bad champion as it is right now, yes. Being a void Lego, he should be better. But I don't think he's like 
on the top five worst champions of Raid Shadow Legends, okay? Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in, in the comments. Uh, do you have him? Have you ever used him? What do you think about him? Yeah, just let me know. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys being here. And as always, I'll see you in the game.